at guard number 10, Ryan Reyes. And also at guard number 17, Jason Castro. Head coach for the Tropical Texters is John Chico. And now let's meet the starting five of your Pure Food Star Hot Shots. Starting at center number 15, Mark Pingris. And forward. At guard number eight, PJ Simon. Also at guard number 11, Alex Maliani. And forward number 38, Joe DeVance. And also at forward number 18, James Yeah. Head coach for the Star Hotchets is Tim Cole. Game officials are Mark Canada, heavy <laughs> Habang kanina pa tayo nagkikwentuhan over www.sports5.ph We now welcome in our live audience over TV5 And this promises to be a battle of epic proportions It is the Talk and Text Tropic Texters taking on the Pure Food Star Hot Shots Magumarjan po ang inyong lingkod Kasama natin si Dadine Kinito Anson with Riza Diaz Joining us in a while Battle of white and blue and it is the white shirts of Pure Foods Getting first crack at the basket. A battle of offense versus defense. Pure Foods has been winning because of defense. Five wins so far. They've held their opponents to an average of 76.8. At the talking text, number one in the league in terms of offense. With Out. 95 again. How about Joe Devance opening up the scoring with a three-point shot? Great sign though, but it's a Pure Foods. Oh, for JDV. You know, this is his system. The triangle is the kind of system that where he can thrive because he creates space. He's a stretch player because he can hit the outside shot. He's a post player because he's got the size and he creates a lot of mismatches. How about Alex Maliari being inserted here by Coach Tipcon? Only second start of the Philippine Cup. Makakasama ka niya, nabanggit na natin si JDB. James Yap, papasok yung Chris Dayan. Nadyan dyan din sila PJ Simon and Mark Pingris. Two shots coming from Pure Foods, all from the outside, all from beyond the arc. And what does that tell you? Talking Tex needs to be able to extend They've got to close out of those shooters. Your boots before this contest was actually number 10 of the 12 teams in terms of three-point shooting. Ito naman Talk Index is number one in that department. And Ryan Resch shows us just why. Uh, this is unbelievable. First three baskets scored in this game, all from three-point territory. Nobody wants to go inside. Nagsusukatan pala ba But you also have Mike Pingers, who's now playing center. A very undersized center for Pure Foods and going up against the big guy, Rob Reyes. Sama ka ni Rob Reyes at ito ni Ryan Reyes, si Jason Castro, Jay Washington, and Matt Canuelas Rosser, the rookie, para dito sa tropang Texas. Washington backing up contra kay Magliari, wanting to test his grit down low, and he just shoots over it. A little bit of a zone defense that I saw there. Pure Foods, not really known to play the zone, but that time, a 2-3 zone defense. Devance from the outside. He's two for two. Two foods up by three. Team shooting at a very high clip. And if you're talking text, you like this kind of a tempo. You like it high scoring. Entry pass thwarted there by the defense of uh, Pure Foods. Now whistled on James Young. That's his first step while Talk and Text is inbounding from the sideline, pasadana natin ang ating teens list para sa gabing ito. Call for Talk and Text number one priorities. Unleash the blur. That's Jason Cox, who's averaging 23.5 points the last two games. And he gives a lot of options for Talk and Text, including that three point shot. And number two priority for Talk and Text, they need to crack the triangle, clog the space, force the pivot guy in the triangle system of Pure Foods to go for the basket rather than pass. And finally, stretch the floor. Create opportunities for the slashes like Jason to penetrate. As Mark Pingres sees Pure Foods double up on Talk and Text, 10-5 na ang nasa ating talaan. Pure Foods naman, ano kailangan gawin dito? For Pure Foods, First of all, back to the basics. You know, what happened when they lost to Rain or Shine is that they had a lot more turnovers and assists. So they've got to be more efficient. 
concentrate on passing, finding the open guy. They had 12 assists, only 12 assists against Rain and Shine, and 18 turnovers. That ratio has to be overturned. Pagalawa, I think they need to rebound by the committee because they gave up too many second chance points to Rain and Shine last time out. They only had 12 second chance points. Finally, they need to control the pace. Make it a slow down type of game. Don't get into a scoring battle with Talk and Text. You don't want to do that. You want to impose your strength, which is defense. And you don't want to play to the strength of Talk and Text, which is offense. Turnover para dito sa Beer Foods. Castro getting it across contra dito kay Maliari. You know, it's a dahilan kung bakit si Alex Maliari is in the game, started out here. He's being used to defend Jason Castro. It's important because he brings size to that backcourt matchup. He also brings a lot of hustle and quickness. Yung haba ng galamay niya. Ang inaasahan dito ng Beer Foods to try and bother Castro, but now off the switch and his pink. Picking up the blur, he's got some space. Castro rattles on the three. That brings the top of Texas to within two points. That's five out of the seven baskets scored so far in this game. They've all come from three-point distance. Inside, Simon fouled from behind by Rosser. Peter Jun Simon still one of the best at eluding defenders just like that. Excellent movement without the leather. Well, we can see the matchup. P.J. Simon is being defended by a much taller guy, Siganuelas. So that's what the coach of Joseph Chico did. That's what the coach Tim Cohn in having Alex Magliari and Jason Castro. Peter Jun Simon is actually the leading scorer for the Pure Food Star Hot Shots. Nearly 14 points a game. Well, you know, as far as all these players are concerned, they contribute big numbers in terms of offense. P.J. Simon at the line. He provides instant offense. He provides a lot of quickness and also the kind of spacing that he's able to generate out of that triangle. How about that on talk and text? They are the leading scoring team in the PBA, averaging 95 per evening or per, per outing. Pero yung scoring nila, Tadina, hindi iisa o dadalawa bumubuhos. We see 10 guys averaging 7 or more points in between 7 and 15. Balanced offense for talking text. And for Pure Foods, getting two points from James Yap. If I were to set goals for this game, for talking text, you want to be able to score at least 90. And if you're Pure Foods, your defensive objective, you try to hold talking text to 80 or less. So far, it looks like a free-flowing first quarter here, barely five minutes into the action. 14-10, lamang ng apat ang pure food star. Isang puto sinabi natin about talking text, stretch the floor. And you're seeing that now. You've got Jay Washington. He's able to stretch the floor because of his outside shooting. Wala pa nga si Rani Del Del Campo at the floor. As P.J. Simon knocks one in from that left baseline. Another steal here by Pure Foods. Simon gets it to Yap. Trying to sneak through two defenders. James will through the line for two shots. Beautiful. Again, very active sa kanilang defensa. And if they're able to generate turnovers against Stock and Text, kitang-kita natin, no? binibilisan nila ang laro. They've got Alex Pagliari on the floor. He's a speedster. P.J. Simon, another guy who likes to run. It's a small lineup that Pure Foods has on the floor with Ping playing the center position. Ang una para dito kay James. Rob Reyes, the lone legit center naman para dito sa talk and text. Of course, they continue to miss the services of Kelly Williams. Look, si Kelly, hindi naman talaga siya natural center. Eh, no? Oh, But with uh, talk and text, they've got two big guys. With Rob Reyes and Jackson. Jay Washington. James Yap, after scoring five early points, misses on both free throws there. Ryan Reyes buries another three. That's his second, and that brings them to within three. Coach Timko must reevaluate the position that he's doing here. He's strategizing with a zone defense, and right now, Talking Tex has already burned them with three three point shots. Nearly a third of their average. Sampung tres pinapasok ng Talking Tex kada outing, ano? As Magliari misses, to a rebound play, there's a foul. Dahil nagbura si Castro sa eksena. Oh, 
You know, one reason kung bakit gumagamit na ng 2-3 zone defense ang Pure Foods is to be able to prevent yung dribble drive offense ng Talking Tex. Nahihirapan ang Talking Tex to do that. But right now, we're still keeping with that down three formation. As Castro looks to tie the contest, he's got that. Ball slapped out of bounds by Rob Reyes, which should send us into our first timeout. Sabi mo, magbabalik. Makakasama na natin si Ms. Riza Diaz.